Okay. Um, last we have um, shared office space, which you have heard referred to as the launching pad 
for another downtown business, Azaria Health. That means a larger tax base, more consumers, more restoration, and growth. If we build it, as in extended to VSU, they will come, and they will come to linger and to live. We're all committed to keeping our young professionals in the area so that our community benefits from their education and talents. Expanding VSU into the courthouse is a testament to that commitment. It demonstrates what is important to us. First, honoring and valuing our past through restoration. And secondly, progressively meeting the future of our community by adapting our historical uses to meet the needs and desires of our young professionals which overwhelmingly are focused around quality of life. We have the opportunity for the courthouse to become a destination of higher education, where ideas are born and students are inspired. Hope for the future is the embodiment of a campus. It's where lifelong commitments are fostered, and we want those students, with their energy, to fall in love with Lowndes County and commit to the wonderful community that we call home. The structure and framework are already in place to build upon. VSU is one half mile away from downtown. The transportation system is already in place, with a current destination being a mere two blocks north of us where they already stop. I believe the overwhelming majority of Lowndes County residents would be in favor of a partnership with VSU because of its ability to serve all or any of our citizens, young and old. From a Lowndes County perspective, We've heard Judge McLean repeatedly hold up the importance of maintaining the courtroom to function for events such as a large trial. In the interim, perhaps VSU might, by not disturbing, but be able to use the courtroom space as a lecture hall or to host guest speakers or community, community purposed events, all of which would be able to be moved in a timely manner elsewhere should the courthouse be needed for a major trial event. We've heard Chairman Slaughter repeatedly hold up that the courthouse belongs to the citizens of Lowndes County and needs to continue to serve them, and I completely agree with him. The issue represents a perfect opportunity to do just that. The latest available statistics as of fall 2012, we had 1,971 Lowndes County students enrolled in our hometown university. As the university continues to offer new programs of opportunities, the number of hometown students will grow also. As well as all the aforementioned outdoor events, such as the 100 Black Men Barbecue, Farm Days, and etc., would not be affected by a VSU presence. In contrast, they would most likely be helped because of the additional people that would be used to coming to the courthouse and to the facility, and would by far probably create the biggest market that we've had today. Now, while remaining the guardian of the courthouse, Lowndes County taxpayers will benefit by county leaders having the opportunity to dispel expenses related to the upkeep of the courthouse to a trusted partner such as VSU, thereby freeing up operational monies that could better serve the residents of Lowndes County as its leadership sees fit. We all desire and are going to protect the courthouse through its restoration and redevelopment, so that is the issue today. No one here wants to see damage to the structure or the property. But as far as its next use, in today's climate more than ever, commerce should be our primary focus. And I fully believe of all the parameters, desires, and most beneficial uses, that a partnership with VSU is our very best option. I will make myself available to the committee at any time during your process, and I personally commit to you to help in any way that I can assist, locally or otherwise. I'd like to hold up one more thing just in case it comes up. If someone, through some delusional thought or pattern, may have the idea that downtown business and property owners are only interested in commerce because it will benefit themselves, here's what I'd like to assure you of. No one invests in downtown as a business model. We invested in downtown to restore it, save it, protect it, and bring it back to life from near total abandonment as a means to financially defer some of the cost to having such a do-gooder mentality, we have attempted to be creative in our offering what would in fact draw people and investment to downtown, our beautiful historic community that can be imitated but never duplicated. And 
while I understand fully the desire of any in entity to inhabit the courthouse, such as the library, the public defender's office, tourism, the historic society, and anyone else, and I understand these are all worthy services, I must uphold the idea that the best use for the courthouse will be to maintain its status while drawing as many people to it and as many potential customers and residents as possible to the downtown area. And the issue represents that ability, not just this year, but into the future of all generations to come. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Thank you very much. Talk to you later. I will. <laughs>